Alrighty, everybody. I have a late night message for someone. This person is going crazy, crazy, crazy just thinking about you. Um, lately, they've been just going out of their mind. They've had the strangest feeling. Um, they've been looking in the mirror. They could have been trying to channel you and pull your energy through a mirror. Someone here could have a picture, but it's just something this person is repetitively thinking about as it pertains to you. <clears throat> like, if I let this go, you know, will I meet someone else that can still make me happy? Am I doing the right thing by letting you go? Or I'm just crazy in love with you. I can't let you go. I feel a heavy energy of... It will come up as a stalker in the cards. <clears throat> it will come up um, a stalker, a, a stalker and or possessive person. Obs excuse me, obsessed person that could be very, very possessive. But this is someone here that's been overwhelmed by love, and they sit back and constantly repeat. If you've already been with this person, what you all used to have is something they're comparing the old to the new, and they're like, okay. Is there a medium for this? Can we start over? Should I start over? They're just going crazy just thinking about you. That song, um, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, and they still love you after the pain. For some of you all, this is someone that you've already been with, but there is still love here by this person. This person is still in love with you. I hear that song, still in love with you. I'm still in love. Still, this person's still in love with you, honey. What's the overall um, message here? Yeah, acceptance. This is someone here that maybe they didn't accept the fact that they had feelings for you more than what they said, more than what they showed. Maybe there were some things about themselves that they had to accept. Um, you are ready to release control ooh, of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. This person right here accepts that they try to control you. They could have also been very manipulative. They also could have tried to dictate your moods, your thoughts, and things of that nature. So they accept that I can't control you. I just love you just that much. You don't understand. It could kind of give you weird vibes. That's not what I'm getting here. I'm just getting someone that... um. They're, I just keep hearing they're overwhelmed by your love, but they were too controlling. Self-love. This person had to really love on his or herself to realize that love is truly um, the self. Love of, love of self is truly necessary to love another. So they didn't understand how much they cared about you until they understood how much they cared about themselves. But they hooked on you, like white on white. All right, Holy Spirit. See, they're lonely. They have concerns about, is this over? Did I really mess this up? Have I gone too far? Have I really have I really sabotaged things? Have I destroyed us? Is this really over, over? You know, this could also be someone that says, you know, maybe I'm willing to change. I, I accept that fact that I needed to change some things about myself. And it's almost like after someone has changed, they're like, you, you, you're leaving me. And it's driving them crazy. This could be someone that did not expect for you to walk away. All right, Holy Spirit, what do you need to know about this person? This late night message, Holy Spirit. Yep. This is someone from your past. Um, there are some things about him or her that they have not revealed to you about not only how they feel, but this person right here, they hide their feelings. They don't like to reveal to anyone. Typically, you know, I care, I like you, I love you, and things like that. This could be a very moody person, so you wouldn't expect them to, you know, show themselves to you that way because their mood changes a, um, a lot. This is someone here that could be not only praying, but they could have also had an encounter. The thing of the matter is they, they've become very traditional, like, man, I think I'm really ready to settle down. I'm really, I'm really ready to find that one. They obsessively think about you. I can see this person's brain and everything about them is like a replay of you a redo of you this is somebody that wants to refill a retake <clears throat> a remake with you in their life yep the ace of wands and the empress card um those of you all here if you're in the um, childbearing stages and ages, this person right here fantasizes about you and them, you know, not only started over, but you having a child with them. <clears throat> Goodness, my throat. This is someone here that haven't, they have not spoken this to you, 
Um, I can tell by that throat chakra energy, but they are they have so there's so much of chemistry here, it's natural, it's organic, and they feel like, man, I just really connect to this empress, I really connect to AEL subscriber. I see so much potential between he and I, she and I. I see so much that we can do, I see so much that we are supposed to be, and this is somebody here that they could they could have been studying something about you and them and they've discovered that you fall in their seventh house and that you um oh my god this is also someone that has discovered who their wife is venus energy and it's driving them crazy yeah that's what it is that's what this is this person has been studying your life and theirs. Yeah. Somebody here has discovered that you are the person that they're supposed to marry, male or female. Specifically, Venus. That you are their, that you are their true love. Mm-hmm. You may not know this. This person is into like birth charts, compatibility charts. Um, um, they, 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 they're into some things with relationships to make it make sense for them. <clears throat> <clears throat> this person wants to say something to you. They're crazy in love with you. Give me the moon card. Give me the moon card. See, they, they hide their feelings, their emotions. Yep, the nine of wands, the nine of wands and the six of wands because this is someone here that's nervous. And this person right here, they have hidden issues of, you know, being rejected. They don't speak They don't speak their truth, period. This is somebody here, you know, they could be accustomed to people just flocking after them and just making them feel good, you know, jocking them. You, you all, all that, you know, chase mess. That's what it is. They're used to people chasing after them, making him or her feel good, but you don't. Mm -mm, and you shouldn't. But you know who you are. They got the opposite of what they are accustomed to. That's what's driving them, this person crazy. That message was irritating me so bad. I was in the bed. This person, they, you're not the kind of, you're, you're not a chaser. They're used to people chasing them clout chasing them mm -mm. they have other options but these options don't fulfill them what's the judgment card somebody here needs like validation from other people they need people to say you look good you sound good you smell good your sex is good you know oh i love you they they used to fake love <laughs> they they really used to lust this ain't even love is lust but Mm -mm. They feel something natural and organic with you. The fact that you do not chase this person, the fact that you don't show them the attention that they get from others makes a difference with you. What's the judgment card? This, this, I, I see so much. Yeah, see, they're disappointed. This um, three of swords here. The page of wands. The page of wands actually came in inverted. This person right here definitely could be childish. And the thing of the matter is, when you walked away, that's that's that was a game changer. When you walked away, that was a game changer. They're not accustomed to that. Y'all, I know I say this a lot, but I cannot put enough emphasis on when people are hurt and when people have inner issues that they will not address. That's what this is. And this person is going like ballistic. They're going crazy. But if I did like a traditional reading, it will come up a lot of stalker energy. But this is a wounded person. Because you changed them. You bruised their ego. You made this person look at who he or she is. Like, you're not all that. There are other people out here like you, if not better than you. It could have been, because I'm hearing someone talk. It's something you said that popped some sort of reality into them. But believe it or not, you could be the first person that's ever said that to them. And they're like, man, I don't know what I'm feeling, but I'm feeling and this person has been looking into your life thoroughly to discover that you are their Venus. That's astrology. This person is into astrological things. What's the ace of wands here? Yep. I told you that I hear that song. I can't sleep, baby, without you in my life. I can't go. I can't go on. That, that there could be a certain song that you all are accustomed to, you know, playing for each other. What's the What's the ace of wands here? You gave them a dose of reality. Mm -hmm. 
the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Emperor. This is someone that's a cup that's accustomed to being very cocky. They could be accustomed to people, like I said, looking up to them, you know, saying, oh, Mr. Emperor, oh, Miss Emperor, you know, oh, my God, the Emperor and the Empress. That's why. This person is used to people chasing after them. You're used to manifestations. I don't chase, I attract. And they're looking at it. Something you did or something you said really caught this person's attention and it bruised their ego severely. Nine of Wands. But it makes them feel like, man, I'd be such a fool if I come towards you and you say nothing. This person is crazily in love with you. You would never know that. They look up to you. And this person has a lot of respect for you. A lot of love. Yeah. They're used to fake love. Look at here. Here they come. Quickly. Quickly. I don't know why I feel like I'm about to cry. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's a big like knot in my throat. You've made this person cry. Off the reality. I don't think that you... You could have said it bluntly, meanly, whatever whatever you said. A nice way, loving way, whatever. You gave them a dose of reality. A pill of reality. I even hear somebody saying, watch how you treat me. I hear that song, be careful what you do to me. Because it might turn around on you. Whatever they did to you has been done to them. And God has made this person realize who you are. They've changed just for you. So this is somebody here, you see everybody running, by, running behind, they monkey behind, flocking them down. Man or woman. This could be someone that was non-committal because they have all these, you know, immature, ignorant, silly, you know, um, and they attract people that are just like them, insecure. That's what this person is. They're insecure. They feel invalid. They hide themselves. But let me tell you something. And that's what they attract. Not you, though. I'm sure that kind of energy tries to come to you, but you have boundaries. You keep it moving. Nah, I'm pass on that. You have all of that. No, thank you. God bless you. They attract hurt people and people that hurt them. This person right here knows that they could have been a fool in other you know, aspects of their life. Just, I don't know why I feel like this is so deep right here. This person is crazy in love with you. And they were not careful. They hide their feelings because they don't want people to know how much they feel about you. And you are their divine counterpart, the emperor and the empress. Look at here. Take a chance on love. Have faith. When we love, our lives are changed forever. This person changed for you, honey. Changing. A player will change for the right person because the right person will show them, I don't need you. But when I wanted you, you should have kept me then. But I don't need you. The same way I attracted you, I will attract another. If I attract one emperor, I assure you, I will attract another. If I attract one empress, I assure you, I will attract another. And it's only going to get better and better and better. That's what this person is realizing, that you're different. And they're going crazy, crazy, crazy. It's something you said penetrated their mind, their psyche. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. This person wasn't committed to you. I don't need cards to tell me that. There's someone here who they, they didn't, they ain't think about no commitment and prioritizing no love life with you before. Mm -mm. Now you're going crazy. Oh, Lord. This is your soulmate. I told you. This person has been looking into your life astrologically. And I told you, they've changed. Transformation. They changed big time. Reflecting. It's a lot of things that you say that makes this person reflect on who they are, more so who they have become. I ain't reading all of that. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Look here. They want your forgiveness. All right. This is your late night message. You have Taurus, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius. Peace and blessings. Great day. I'm going to link something below. Namaste.